Hi everyone, it's Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home. Thank you so much for coming by today. Today I wanted to share with you a fun little decorating obsession that I currently have and that is adding in touches of blue and white to my home decor. So growing up, my mom decorated with a lot of blue and white, which is probably why I just find myself naturally drawn to that color combination. She even still to this day has these beautiful plates that belong to my great, great grandmother that she hangs up in her home and they're so pretty. She's had them in the house for as long as I can remember. So I asked if I could include them in this video to show you guys. The color combination of blue and white is so classic. You even see it up in the sky when you look outside and out at the sea when you look at the ocean. It's it's just a very beautiful, calming color combination. So I've been endeavoring myself to add blue and white into my home decor, and I wanted to show you some of the touches that I've recently added. So recently I shared with you guys that I found these beautiful blue and white metal plates at an antique mall for just $7 a piece. They are designed to hang up on the wall, which is great. So I hung them up here in my kitchen. This is very reminiscent of what my mom does in her house, but I do love it. I feel like it has such a classic, beautiful feel and these plates become like artwork on the wall. After I hung up those plates, I had this itch of an idea and I hesitated to share it with you guys because I knew some of you would just recoil and be upset that I did this. So hopefully you can see that I am truly happy with the decision that I made. But I had this beautiful hand decorated tablecloth that was gifted to me and I really struggled to find a place to use this beautiful piece. I love the blue and white on this particular piece. So I had a wild hair one day. I was just like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I've had this idea for a couple weeks now. I'm just going to do it. So I cut the tablecloth in half. Forgive me, those of you who are upset about that. And I hung it up above my kitchen window using curtain clips that I just found on Amazon. It was really simple. I didn't even add a stitch to it. I figured that way I could just stitch it back together if I ever changed my mind. And this piece now has this very central, beautiful place to be displayed above this large window in my kitchen. So I love it and I love that it ties in those plates. I love the delicate stitching on this piece and I feel like now that it's hung up I can see those beautiful stitches all the more clear and I look up and it just makes me smile. I love that when I look up and I see that it just makes me think of whoever lovingly stitched this and now it has this place of very visual honor in my home. You can be creative with your vintage linens and use them in unique ways. Another way that I've been really endeavoring to add blue and white is through little home decor pieces. I have a beautiful little plant that was gifted to me and it was gifted to me in this sweet little blue pot. And I purposely stacked it on top of a white little plate so that the blue and white could come into play. But I just love how sweet this looks here on our coffee table near our little fireplace. There's color and texture and life from the plant. It is a very sweet little decorative moment here in my living room. I also have intentionally pulled out some blue and white books from my bookshelf. This is a really great way to add in whatever colors you're really enjoying using in your decor is to find books that have those colors on their covers and stack them. I love a good book stack. Throw pillows are also a really great way to add in whatever colors you're having fun with. I have these really simple blue and white plaid pillows and believe it or not I made those from fabric I got at a yard sale for just 50 cents. I've really enjoyed layering plaids for the winter time and pulling in that blue and white plaid to tie in that blue and white theme that I'm going for. So when it comes to picking things to hang on my wall like art I'm often drawn to prints and paintings that have a lot of blue and white in them. Two of my favorites are this sailboat print that I found in an estate sale for just a dollar and then this print uh, I'm not sure exactly what you call it but it's not an actual painting it's just a print but it's framed. I found this at a yard sale for two dollars several years ago it's been one of my favorites for years now and I just love those colors and incorporating them into my decor helps me pull in more of those blues and whites and even some greens. Now many of you know that I love to collect vintage sheet music. Again, it's sort of the same idea as plates. I feel like when you put them on the wall, they become such beautiful and unique art pieces. I have a very gorgeous, mostly blue piece of 
sheet music that I have framed in an older frame I had on hand. I would love to collect more frames to frame more of my pieces and have sort of a display of my vintage sheet music. I shared that with you guys in my thrift wish list video but right now I just have the one so I hung it here in my library and gave it sort of a place of honor and also to really pull in more of that blue and white combination that I'm just loving. So on a more day-to-day -day basis, I am loving using that teacup that I found at the thrift store for 99 cents. I've used it every single day for my coffee or tea. I just love it. It's so beautiful. And what I love about pieces like this is when your daily use items are so beautiful to you, they just become part of the decor as you're using them. I, I love that about this mug in particular. These two tins I've had for some time as well, and I love the blue and white and how there's a couple different shades of blue and white here. These tins are super practical because they hold my sewing supplies and all my little buttons, but I love them here because they kind of act like a bookend to this collection of children's books I have, and they also pull out that slight blue and white checker that you see on the edge of the box around this super old and well-loved Laura Ingalls Wilder set that I have. And this piece is one of my absolute favorites. I found this at a thrift store a while ago for just $2.99. I love this little picture and I love using it seasonally. It's beautiful at Christmas. It's beautiful in the summer. It's beautiful in the winter with some seeded flowers inside. So I do hope to add more of this color combination to my home in different ways and different textures and fabrics and paintings and um, maybe even some tile work. I hope to add some tile to the kitchen at some point as a backsplash. So I'm really thinking about that, saving up for things and just waiting for those right pieces to come along. But I hope this inspires you to have fun with some of your favorite color combinations and if you have a favorite uh, sort of decor combination that you love, be sure to let me know in the comments. Well, I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Thank you again for stopping by. It's always fun to talk decor with you all. It's such a fun outlet for me to share my love for decorating and thrifting with you guys. So if you're new here, I hope you'll hit that red subscribe button and the little bell will send you a notification whenever I post. Right now, my goal is to be posting once a week. So I hope you'll hang out with us and I have a lot of plans for decorating coming up but you know we'll see with time and budget it's always a question when I get to start yard sale season is just around the corner so excited <laughs> so I hope you guys will come along for the journey all right you guys take care and I will be back with more soon bye